Hello, my name is Rashad. And I'm here to talk about myself a little bit along with the web application that I've created. First and foremost, I enjoy gaming as a hobby among other things like music. I'm a little bit of a musician. I play a lot of brass instruments or random instruments like the kalimba, for example. Um, but again, on to the gaming hobby side of mine. As I'm sure many people know, there are a myriad of games that exist in the world from casual card games or board games to like extremely challenging games like the Dark Souls series, if you're a video gamer by any chance. Within some of these more challenging games, Dark Souls as a very good example, um, there is a mechanic that involves clicking a button in reaction to what the opponent is doing to you. This mechanic is normally called a perfect parry. Normally, whenever you click the button at the perfect time, you are usually uh, granted some form of a bonus or reward. Like for example, if you block something at the perfect time, hence a perfect parry, maybe your frames will recover quickly so you can react faster after the defensive maneuver or in another game like fury if you perfect parry then you get health back instead of it just being like oh you can react faster right so there are rewards behind being able to click a button at the perfect time or within the perfect time frame however within most games whenever you play them if you get to a boss or a, a challenging opponent and then you lose a lot of the times you have to restart your progress and go back some levels or, you know, some fights backwards, and then you have to redo the progress just to get to that same part again. And that's where the problem can kind of lead into is just that within itself. How can you practice without having to sacrifice the time? And that's what my web application is actually going to address here that's the problem that is going to solve um as a great example um i actually personally played this game called sifu it's a martial arts game and this game whenever it released was insanely challenging and there wasn't like any difficulty levels whenever it released it was just one standard difficulty and According to um, some surveys that were actually done upon this game, the first two levels were completed a lot by mo – well, excuse me, let me rephrase this. The first level was completed by roughly 92 to 95% of the people that actually played the game, so they got to the first level fine. Whenever they got to the second level, the number kind of dropped down to roughly 50 or so percent beating it within like the first two or three months whenever it came out. And by like the third level, it was even less than that. It was like 30%. And there's five levels in total in this game. It's a very quick game. It's just made to be challenging. So that is actually one of the reasons why I decided to kind of pursue making what's called a Perry Trainer, which is the web application that I am providing for you. Give me just a second. Let me go ahead and share my screen here and share some information for you. Okay. Now, first and foremost, let's take a look at a little information. So here's the mural, the prep behind me creating this application. And I'm gonna leave this up and feel absolutely free to zoom in if you need to and read whatever you like to, but I'm not gonna go into too much detail about this or some of the other documentations that I have. This is the SWOT analysis, uh, the strengths, the weakness, the weaknesses, the opportunities and threats behind this application. For example, as I mentioned earlier, um, one of the strengths is allows you time to practice before you perform, you know, and also just to hone your reaction time just in general, right? Because in a lot of games where you have a time frame to hit a button, the skill is very transferable from game to game, as long as a perfect parry mechanic is within the game, right? Now here's the flow of it. In all honesty, um, it's just an open application. You can just go to the home page, you can go to application page, you can go to 
the the about me page freely there isn't like any restrictions saying you have to go here first or there first granted most likely you're going to go to the home page first but it's just a free flowing navigational web application and then here's the wireframe which is very interesting because this was the original idea that i had for it and we definitely left a couple of things behind um, due to time constraints and honestly because of uh, coding languages as well. I've come to realize as I was going through this 12-week boot camp that there were a couple of more coding languages that I would actually have underneath my belt in order to fully flesh out this application for you. But your homepage, your contact page, information page, application page, which is what I will definitely be working on in the future, and then the survey and form page. But without further ado, let me go ahead and show you this web application. Go ahead and minimize this and maximize this. So here's the web application right here. So blue is my favorite color. That's exactly why there is a whole lot of different shades of blues and purple is very close to blue. So, you know, accent colors, right? So, oh, and let me show you this one thing. Um, I'm actually really new to the coding environment. Um, the Savvy Coders Bootcamp was the very, very first introduction I've ever had into coding just in general. And there are a lot of cool things that I realize that you really can do with coding. It's just like, if you are able to put your mind to it, you can kind of create it as far as I know, but I'm also very new. So um, one thing that I thought was kind of cool was the CSS and the HTML that I've created for this. For example, these are my navigation links across the top, but this is the one thing that I really, really like, and I'm gonna integrate this into like a lot of future applications along with maybe gradient color schemes, make it look really, really nice, right? But if you look at it, whenever you hover, so this is literally a, uh, a CSS property, whenever you hover your mouse over said button, it literally changes the background color and it changes the font of the actual text itself. And that was pretty cool. I'll show you actually the, the introduction of whenever I first did this within the application. And then why I was just like, maybe I can do this for my navigation links too. But here's my homepage. Right here is actually a third party API implemented into the homework assignment, the web application. This API just gets you the St. Louis weather, the temperature, and what it feels like, but it does update like consistently. So, you know, if next week, if you're familiar with the Midwest, next week it just might be 70 degrees, it will say, you know, 70 degrees Fahrenheit on the web application. So, along with that, we have a couple of borders, some color schemes, and this is actually just an example of the main character of the Sifu game I was mentioning earlier with the parry mechanic and whatnot. So, that's what that is. Let's move on to our about page here. This shows the about me information. Now, I am going to explain this momentarily because this is related to a separate API that I've actually created myself. This is the application page. Unfortunately, I do not have the actual Perry trainer mechanic actually running. I do need a kind of uh, have a little bit more coding underneath my belt and understand a couple different languages as well in order for me to actually implement what I'm looking for into this. But in the near future, as I learn more, we're going to kind of build out on this page as well. And then here's my contact page. This is actually where I first kind of branched out into some CSS and I used that hover mechanic and inverting the colors as well within these two links right here. And by the way, these are properly working links. So this is uh, my LinkedIn. So, you know, it pulls up LinkedIn, personally, my, uh, my personal page and whatnot. So it is an active link. And then we also have my email address, which is also a link. And this also pulls up automatically the, um, email provider that you use or that you default to, or and if you don't default to anything, then you might have to do a couple of setups first, but it does pull up that information. And then you're able to just directly email me based off of literally this already has 
the uh, the two information already embedded in there, so that's already there for you. But again, the things that I'm proud of, the CSS right here, and I can show you that momentarily in my coding as well. And then here is my survey page. I previously had um, two more surveys before this, but I've come to realize recently that these surveys conflicted, at least the way that they were coded, it conflicted with my created API, but those previous surveys were linked through Formspree. So whenever, it was just a survey that said, you know, how satisfied are you with this website and uh, or web application? And another question was, what game were you currently playing? And that was just like an open input for you to like type in whatever game that you would like to, right? But let me talk about this API really quick. So this is a quick little API that I've started. This isn't the finished product just yet, but this shows the top few games that have a uh, perfect parry mechanic that's very popular as of right now. And a person would just choose like the game that they're playing at the moment and then you'll click submit. And then what it does is it brings you over to the about page and it actually adds on to this list right here. Now this is just kind of showing that it's properly functioning and it's properly working, but the actual finished product of what I'm attempting to do is whenever you select a game underneath and all this extra space, it would actually show a live survey is kind of what I'm going for. So let's say 12% um, of the people play Ghost of Tsushima, right? 8% play Batman Arkham series, 20% play Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, so on and so forth. It would generate a percentage graph after you submit that says, hey, based off the people who have used this survey, this percentage of people like this game, this percentage of people played this game, this percentage of people played this game, so on and so forth. But that is going to take just a little bit more time, a little bit more coding. But just to kind of show that I have the skill of creating an API, I just linked it to my about page and it shows right here. So that is roughly, oh, and I also have a footer that also has functioning nav buttons as well. So we are able to go to different websites and uh, navigation links that way as well. But that's roughly where we are when it comes down to my web application. But let me show you the CSS property that I really enjoy, the, uh, the hover idea here. So let's go and look at my coding on the left. Let me go ahead and full screen this one and style.css so here's my and oh just another extra add-on thing um again relatively new at coding only did the 12-week boot camp i was honestly surprised to see that i would have this many lines of code whenever it comes down to stylizing a website like i wasn't expecting to get to 200 lines of code but there's still there's still more to learn more to add um so this is where we got in the hover uh, mechanic for the navigation links, hidden mobile, I'm sorry about that, pop-ups, hidden mobile lab, nav links hover. So this is where I integrated that with the border, the background color, and the border radiuses and all that other fun stuff involving that. So that's, that's CSS and HTML is pretty much my favorite aspect when it comes down to coding, just to see how pretty and nice that you can make a web application or a web page look. Um, within the coding bootcamp, let me go ahead and just show the home, the, uh, the full screen page of this. But within the um, bootcamp that I was taking with Savvy Coders, we did um, I see Agile, and interestingly enough, I'll share this little quick story. Whenever I jumped into the boot camp, I decided to go headfirst, cannonball into the pool. Like, there is no toes in. We just jump right into it. 
So we had to choose who were going to be our product owners and the scrum master for our team because we were divided into three different teams. Um, speaking that nobody was insanely quick to volunteer, I was one that just decided to volunteer first. And I was volunteer, volunteering for product owner. And when I tell you this was insanely overwhelming at the very beginning because I wasn't, I didn't know what the responsibilities were. Um, and it turns out that I had to pretty much be ready for our standups um, prior to the class even starting. So I had to take a couple minutes to make sure that I had the JIRA tickets and the JIRA pages looked at and, and, and uh, bookmarked so that way I can kind of reference them quickly. And then I kind of had to have an idea of what our stories and our epics were. So that way, whenever we got into the standup, which was time, I wasn't necessarily reading and trying to figure it out while we were on this time standup. I already kind of had it ready to go and just saying, hey, did we finish this? Did we finish this story? Do we have our CSS all ready to go? Is our HTML all okay? Do we have our GitHub and our Git repositories all set up? Is our MongoDB set up on the back end side? You know? So that was actually extremely interesting and insanely overwhelming, but it probably took maybe three or four days or so before I started getting into the flow of things. And it started to become like a very, very fun experience because after we kind of got our standups out the way, me and our team would sit here and talk about our applications that we're creating and actually talk in detail about the problems that we're having and how we address certain coding issues. And it was a really, 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 really great time. Um, but that is the web application that I've created. And moving forward, again, I, I've mentioned that I'm going to add a couple of things to this application, but I do plan on working on my own personal content for myself because I am a content creator and I am a gamer as well. So I plan on making another web page just for myself involving that information as well. So if you're hanging around my GitHub, keep an eye out for it because you're going to start seeing some extra files popping up there. But with that being said, I greatly, greatly appreciate your time just looking at this video. I'm very excited for what I have going on in the future, no matter what direction that leads, because in my mind, I know that I can accomplish even more based off of how far I've gotten within just 12 weeks of time with no experience at all. But with that being said, thank you so much, and I hope to hear from you soon.